In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.2 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2023. I'll be doing all this on the board. Hopefully, it'll be a lot like you're used to your teacher doing in a classroom. If you want other questions from this paper, you should be able to find it in a playlist in the description below. And if you find any of my videos uh, useful, I'd greatly appreciate liking, subscribing, or even sharing it to a friend sitting the exams this year or next. Question 11 is basically about points and lines and intersecting. That sounds like coordinate geometry, but we're gonna be using vectors in this question, just like I've wrote up on the board here. Um, they, in this question, they've given us this line here, or equals uh, this mess, and they've also told us there's two points, A and B. And what they want us to do is show that this line does not hit, intersect the line that goes through A and B. Now, in two-dimensional space, nearly all lines intersect, unless they're parallel. Uh, but in three dimensions, no, there's plenty of lines that, that don't intercept each other, so this is quite common. Now the first thing, the first thing we're going to do here is I'm not going to write I, J and K all the time. It takes too much work. So I just want to show you that I, what I'm, how I'm writing it. I'm going to write this guy as 1I, which is 1, 2J, 2, minus 2K, minus 2. I'm going to write it like that. And this guy I'm going to write as 2 minus 1, 1. Again, there's two I's, there's minus 1 J's and there's plus 1 K's. And or, um, so that's B, uh, or I'm gonna write as one minus one, three. That's one minus one, three, plus mu, that's the mu, uh, two minus three, four. Okay, so that's first of all, that's how I'm gonna write this. Um, now let's set up what they're actually asking us. Um, they have, all my drawings are gonna be two dimension because that's all I can draw. But they've given us a line, and they've given us uh, two points. Actually, I can't draw this one, I guess. They've given us two points, um, A and B. And we need to show whether these intersect. Now remember, this is in three dimensions. So these could hit each other, or they could miss by a mile. So what we really need to do is, we have the equation of this line. What we need to do is find the equation of this line, and then, we can go ahead and put those two equations together and see if they intersect. That's, that's not very easy, but that's what we need to do. Basically, we need to find the equation of AB. So if we get this for a moment, let's find the equation of AB. Ah, I just remembered why I started to draw something. Uh, so if we had two points, A and B, um, and we have the origin down here, zero. So there's zero, A and B. So to get the equation of a line, we have the, the directional vector of A. That's, we have this vector here. And we have this vector here. To get the equation of this line, what I need to do is get a, get a vector going somewhere in this direction or that direction. Basically, the, the easy one we know is the vector AB. So find the vector AB. Uh, well, that's it basically, and then we can just say a line that goes through AD is equal to any point that's on the line, so starting at zero, get to the line, say A, and then go one this direction, go two this direction, go a half this direction, go minus a half. That's how we get the equation of a line. So, so basically, I just need a vector AB or BA, it doesn't matter which. You can, act, you can get probably 10 different answers in this question, uh, maybe, maybe six different answers, I guess, in this question. Um, different numbers, at least. The answer should all be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just get AB. So let's, let's do a quick reminder. What is AB? Um, starting at A, so AB is equal A going to O and O going to B plus O going to B. That's what B is. OB it is B. They're, they're the same things. This is OB. AB though, that's minus AO. They're OA, AO. It's just minus, different direction, plus OB. Or another way to write this is B minus A. AB is B minus A. So AB is equal to B uh, 
2, 2 minus 1, uh, minus 1, minus 2, 1, minus, minus 2. And that's just equal to 1, minus 3, and uh, 3. That's what AB is. The line that goes through here, so remember, let's write here as our OR. OR is equal to, so to get any point on this line, we just need to get to the line. Again, pick whichever of these you want, A or B. We need to get to the line. Let's go with A. 1, 2, minus 2. And then once we're on the line, we just need to get a direction that's on the line. We have that, AB. Plus, uh, where was AB? Here it is here. 1, minus 3, 3. So we get to the line, and then we go any number of this direction. We go 1, we go 2, we go 3, we go 1 and a half, and so on. And so we just make up a letter for that. A lambda for that. And that's the equation of this line. We already have the equation of some other line that's in a different dimension um, up here. So let me clean off this and we'll, we'll see does this line equal this line? Or can they equal each other? Meaning can they intersect? So basically I found the equation of this line and we're going to see do these intersect? That's what they wanted. They wanted um, does this intersect with the line that goes through AB? Actually I don't know why I made that so complicated. I should have said that at the start. Does this intersect with the line that goes through AB? Therefore, we just need to find the line that goes through AB. That's what I've done here. Next, do they intersect? So how do we do that? Let's, we rewrite this guy. They're both OR, they're both just some general number. So we rewrite this guy as uh, 1 plus 2 mu. Uh, minus 1 minus 3 mu. Uh, 3 plus 4 mu. That's that equation. And we'll just put it equal to this one. And that's how we find the intercept, isn't it? We put them equal and we solve it. This one over here is just one uh, plus mu, sorry, plus lambda, two minus three lambda, and uh, minus two plus uh, three lambda. X part equals the X, the X component equals the X component. This is three simultaneous equations. Um, this is just telling us that yeah, do I, do I need to write this out again? This is just telling me, yeah, let me save writing it out again. I'll just, let me rub out some of this. This is just telling me that equals that, that equals that, that equals that. It's three simultaneous equations. And there's only two unknowns. So we can ignore the third one and just solve it. We can ignore the first one and just solve it. Let's just ignore the third one for the moment. And we'll just solve these top two. Let me write the top two out a little. Let's just get the ones, uh, the numbers all the same side. We'll get a 2 mu minus lambda equals uh, 0. And the second one we'll get minus 3 mu uh, plus 3 lambda, bring that over, uh, equals 3. That's just the top three. Just a simultaneous equation. Let's just go ahead and solve it. Top line, let's multiply by 3. It's 6 mu minus 3 lambda equals, uh, oh, still equals 0, sorry. Add these together, we get 3 lambda, 3, uh, 3 mu is equal to 3 plus 0, so that's 3. And we get mu is equal to 1. And if mu equals 1, uh, let's see, 2, two ones minus something is 0. So uh, lambda must be, uh, must be equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So that's, that seems simple, doesn't it? It seems, okay, we've solved this. Mu was 1, lambda was 2. All of these should work. The, the top row works. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. That works. Um, this one, uh, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. 2 minus uh, 6 is minus 4. That works. The third one, the final one, we have to check them all. The third one, uh, should this be, this should be a, this should be a mu, sorry, that's a bit messy. Uh, 3 plus 4, 4 times 1, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 is equal uh, minus 2 
plus 6 is 4. Oh, that's a problem. That does not equal. And that simply means it's, it doesn't intercept. Now, there's a problem with this, uh, this type of question. It's a lot of numbers, and we find out it doesn't intercept because it doesn't equal. There's another possibility. I could have made a mistake. When I did this question in my own notes, I did it twice. I'd even advise you to, instead of solving these two, solve two other ones. Go ahead and do this question twice because it's so common to make a mistake in it. Um, if you just get one number wrong somewhere, you're, you're in a bit of trouble. But, but they told you it doesn't, uh, doesn't intercept. So it's no real surprise finding that they don't intercept. Anyway, that's what I found there. That's the answer to part A. Okay, for part B, they ask us to find the position vector of the foot of the perpendicular from A to L. This was L here. This, um, this OR vector was the position vector of every point in L. So we don't actually need B. Let me just rub that out so it doesn't distract us. Um, let me draw what they want then. We draw the line L. There's this line here. Um, I don't care where the origin is for the moment. Actually, I'll put it in in a moment. We'll draw the point A. There's the point A. Now, what they're saying is, if you go from any point in three-dimensional or two-dimensional to a line with a perpendicular, well, you can go to any line with a perpendicular. So that's what they're calling the foot of the perpendicular. They're talking about this point here. So basically, we have the point A, and we have the point there, let's see, we've used A, B, let's just call this C. There is a point C on this line that's perpendicular to A. So, um, yeah, how do we, what do we do with this? Uh, when you see perpendicular, when you see 90 degrees in vectors, you should be thinking about um, the dot product, the dot product or the scalar product. So that's when we have a vector say this vector and uh, this vector, if they are perpendicular, their dot product will equal zero. So that's basically what we have to do here. We need to find a vector that goes with this line. That's easy, it's right there. Here it is here, two minus three, four. Remember, that's what this guy is. He is the vector, A, this number is just somewhere from the origin getting you onto the line. That's all this does. This, this vector gets you in the direction you want, the direction in the line. A as well, this number here isn't anything useful. That's just, that's just the line from the origin. That's just, that's A. Uh, this here is, let me write in one minus one, three. So what we need, we have this vector. This vector here, or I don't know where it is, but this vector two, sorry, I might have to change pens. Uh, two minus three, four. We have that vector. We need a vector that goes in this direction, one either this direction or this direction. So let's find AC. So basically, I need C, which is, is convenient because C is actually what we're looking for as an answer. We need C here. But we can write C already. Remember, we know every single point on this line. It's right here. C is equal to 1 plus 2 mu. Um, minus 1 minus 3 mu. 3 plus 4 mu. That's the vector going here. It's this plus this. Just, I just don't know what mu is. <laughs> like That's all I'm missing. I'm just missing mu, really. Um, but still, that's the, I can represent C like that. And if I want to get the a vector going from A to C, well, that's easy. That's just C minus A. So AC is just equal C minus A, which is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 2 mu. So that's 2 mu. Um, this minus 2, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, minus 3 mu. Um, this minus this, so 3 minus minus 2 is plus 2, 5, uh, plus 4 mu. So now look what we have here. We have AC and we have a factor on this line. And we know they're perpendicular. 
So now all I need to do is, I need to do, uh, let's write down here, AC, AC scalar product or dot product times, uh, well, let me just write it as that, two, I don't know what to call this, the vector direction of the line, I forget, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm running really low on time to answer all these questions before the exam. I'm very busy <laughs> the next few weeks. Uh, the scalar product of these two, this times this, and I know it equals zero. I know the dot product of a perpendicular line equals zero. Let me put it in here then. Um, yeah, let me just save space and put it in here. Two minus three, four. Let's, uh, let me change that then. I just want to get the dot product of this and I know it equals zero. That means I can solve mu. The dot product of this, uh, let me write it down here, is two mu times two, four mu. Uh, minus three, minus three mu, multiplied by minus three. Let's see, that's plus nine, plus nine mu. Five times four is 20. Four times four is 16 mu. I know the answer equals zero. This is quite straightforward, just add them all together here. All the mu's is uh, 16 plus 4, 20 plus 9, 29. Uh, 29 mu is equal, let's see, 20 plus 9 is 29. Move it over to the other side, minus 29. Mu equals minus 1. Um, and that's pretty much the answer, except they want C. They want uh, the final answer here, they want C equals 1 plus uh, 2 minus 1s, so that's uh, minus 1. Uh, minus 1 minus 3 minus 1s, uh, minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3, plus 3 minus 1 is 2. And uh, 4 minus 1s is minus 4, plus 3 is uh, minus 1. Let me just check my notes. That's the final answer. Yeah, that's the final answer. Um, if you'd rather write it the way the exam uh, gave it to you, which I would suggest, they gave it to you i, j, and k, give them the answer with minus i plus 2j minus k. That, and that's the final answer. I apologize for squeezing this in. I'm, I'm never neat, but I was a, a particularly messy in this question. But. I'm really out of time. I'm about to have my second child any day now. So I, I need to edit these, get them up, and you won't hear from me for the next few weeks because I'll be changing nappies. Um, so if you have any questions, I might be, if, I, I'll try and answer you in the middle of a, like nap time or while changing nappies. Um, so put the questions in the questions below. Maybe another student will answer, I hope. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.